Psalm 2. Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahuwah and against his Mashiach, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sits in the heavens shall laugh. Yahuwah shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare to the degree Yahuwah has said unto me, <clears throat> You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I shall give you the heathen for your inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, you shall dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise, on, be wise now, therefore, O you kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve Yahuwah with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they who put their trust in him. From the Apocrypha Books of the Bible, a book called The Wisdom of Solomon, Chapter 1. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart seek him. For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him. For forward thoughts separate from God, and his power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit, and remove from thoughts that are without understanding, and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. For wisdom is a loving spirit, and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. For God is witness of his reins, and a true beholder of his heart, and a hearer of his tongue. For the Spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and that which containeth all things hath knowledge of the voice. Therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid, neither shall vengeance, when it is punished, pass by him. For inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly, and the sound of his words shall come into the Lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. For the ear of jealousy heareth all things, and the noise of murmurings is not hid. Therefore, beware of murmuring, which is unprofitable, and refrain your tongue from backbiting. For there is no word so secret that shall go for naught, and the mouth that belieth slays the soul. Seek not death in the error of your life, and pull not upon yourselves destruction with the work of your hands. For God made not death, neither hath he pleasure in the destruction of the living. For he created all things, that they might have their being, and the generations of the world were healthful, and there is no poison of destruction in them, nor the kingdom of death upon the earth, for righteousness is immortal. But ungodly men with their works and words called it to them, for when they thought to have it their friend, they consumed the knot, and made a covenant with it, because they are worthy to take part with it. Chapter 2 for the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not aright, Our life is short and tedious, and in the death of man there is no remedy, neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. For we are all born in an adventure, and we shall all be hereafter as though we had never been born. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke, and a little spark in the moving of our heart, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned to ashes, and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air and our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance, and our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud, and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun, and overcome with the heat thereof. For our time is a very shadow that pass away, and after our ending there is no returning, for it is fast sealed, so that no man cometh again. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creatures, like as in youth. 
Let us overfill ourselves with costly wine and ointments. Let no flower of the spring pass us by. Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place, for this is our portion, and our lot is this. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the aged. Let our strength be the law of justice, for that which is feasible is found to be nothing worth. Therefore, let us lie in wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn, and he is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraideth us with our offending the law, and object to our infamy the transgressings of our education. He professes to have the knowledge of God, and he called himself the child of the Lord. He was made to reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like any other man's, his ways are of another fashion. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He abstains from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounced the end of the just to be blessed and make his boast that God is his father. Let us see if his words be true. Let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. For if the just man be the son of God, he will help him and will deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Let us examine him with spitefulness and torture, that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying he shall be respected. Such things they did imagine, and were deceived, for their own wickedness has blinded them. As for the mysteries of God, they know them not. Neither hoped they were for the wages of righteousness, nor discerned a reward for blameless souls. For God created man to be immortal, and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, and they that do hold of his side do find it.